希望 ，hope。We all hope for good health, successful careers, great relationships. But sometimes things are not within our control. And when that hope disappears, where do you put your hope? During the last global financial crisis in 2007 and 2008, I was the CEO of MediaCorp. Many economists had considered the 2008 global financial crisis the worst crisis since the Great Depression in the 1930s. I was advised that we had to cut back 10% of our workforce in order for the company to survive. I was very burdened because many of our staff was not young in age anymore. Some of them could have family members affected by retrenchment from other companies, and some of them. They be so breadwinner for their family. It was quite hopeless. But ever since I became a Christian, I learned how to turn my trouble and my worries to God. In my prayer, I ask God for wisdom to guide me so that we can manage this crisis without the need of retrenchment. During one of my quiet time in the morning, a very simple idea came to my mind. What if everyone worked ten percent less? We work nine out of ten days. We can shut down the campus during the off day to save utility bills and other expenses. Of course, this is easier said than done. Radio, television, newspaper services cannot be interrupted, and they must go on. I'm practically asking everyone to complete the work with ten percent less of time. I can't wait to share this idea with my colleagues. I called an employees' town hall in the TV theater. The TV theater was packed, but it was unusually quiet. Nobody was in the mood to talk. I went ahead with my presentation and shared how it would affect our work schedule. After I finished my presentation, the TV theater was so quiet that you can hear a pin drop. All of a sudden, and almost spontaneously, people get on their feet. And I was given a standing ovation. I was very touched, and I was very grateful that God had led me to make such a decision. MediaCorp day off helped the company to survive through the crisis without the need to retrench. Not only that, we restored the work schedule and the salary right after the economy returned. And towards the end of the year, everybody received a small EN bonus and 50% compensation. For the day off that they didn't work. Later, people ask, "Why did I rack my brains to come up with alternative solutions to avoid retrenchment?" As retrenchment was a acceptable practice at that point in time, my answer to them was simple: I trust that God put me in the position of the CEO of the company for such a time like this. See one, hope. Everyone hope for good things. But where does your hope come from? I put my hope in God because I trust that He is Almighty, and He never fades away. He loved me the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. If you want to understand more about our hope, I want to invite you to join us at Celebration of Hope, which will happen May 17 to 19 this year. At the national stadium, I'll see you there.